Australian Open is managed by Tennis Australia, formerly the Lawn Tennis Association of Australia, LTAA, and was first played at the Warehouseman's Cricket Ground in Melbourne in November 1905. This facility is now known as the Albert Reserve Tennis Centre. The tournament was first known as the Australasian Championships and then became the Australian Championships in 1927 and the Australian Open in 1969. The Australian Open has been staged in five Australian and two New Zealand cities, Melbourne, 55 times, Sydney, 17 times, Adelaide, 14 times, Brisbane, 7 times, Perth, 3 times, Christchurch, 1906, and Hastings, 1912. Though started in 1905, the tournament was not designated as being a major championship until 1924, by the International Law Tennis Federation. ILTF, at a 1923 meeting. The tournament committee changed the structure of the tournament to include seating at that time. In 1972, it was decided to stage the tournament in Melbourne each year because it attracted the biggest patronage of any Australian city. The tournament was played at the Kuan Law Tennis Club from 1972 until the move to the new Melbourne Park complex in 1988. The new facilities at Melbourne Park, formerly Flinders Park, were envisaged to meet the demands of a tournament that had outgrown Kuan's capacity. The move to Melbourne Park was an immediate success, with a 90% increase in attendance in 1988, 266,436, on the previous year at Kuan, 140,000. Because of Australia's geographic remoteness, very few foreign players entered this tournament in the early 20th century. In the 1920s, the trip by ship from Europe to Australia took about 45 days. The first tennis players who came by boats were the US Davis Cup players in November 1946. Even inside the country, many players could not travel easily. When the tournament was held in Perth, no one from Victoria or New South Wales crossed by train. The distance of about 3,000 kilometers, 1,900 mi, between the east and west coasts. In Christchurch in 1906, of a small field of 10 players, only two Australians attended and the tournament was won by a New Zealander. The first tournaments of the Australasian Championship suffered from the competition of the other Australasian tournaments. Before 1905, all Australian states and New Zealand had their own championships, the first organized in 1880 in Melbourne and called the Championship of the Colony of Victoria, later the Championship of Victoria. In those years, the best two players, Australian Norman Brooks, whose name is now written on the Men's Singles Cup, and New Zealander Anthony Wilding, almost did not play this tournament. Brooks came once and won in 1911, and Wilding entered and won the competition twice, 1906 and 1909. Australasian players. Even when the Australasian Championships were held in Hastings, New Zealand, in 1912, Wilding, though three times Wimbledon champion, did not come back to his home country. It was a recurring problem for all players of the era. Brooks went to Europe only three times, where he reached the Wimbledon Challenge round once and then won Wimbledon twice. Thus, many players had never played the Austral, as Amateur or Open Championships, the Doherty brothers, William Lark, Maurice McLaughlin, Beals Wright, Bill Johnston, Bill Tilden, Rene Lacoste, Henri Cochet, Bobby Riggs, Jack Kramer, Ted Schroeder, Poncho Gonzalez, Budge Patty, and others, while Brooks, Ellsworth Vines, Yaroslav Dropny, came just once. Even in the 1960s and 1970s, when travel was less difficult, leading players such as Manuel Santana, Jan Cook, Manuel Morantes, Gillian Estaz, only came once, when 35 years old, and Bjornborn came rarely or not at all. Beginning in 1969, when the first Australian Open was held on the Milton Courts at Brisbane, the tournament was open to all players, including professionals who were not allowed to play the traditional circuit. Nevertheless, except for the 1969 and 1971 tournaments, many of the best players missed this championship until 1982, because of the remoteness. Around Christmas and New Year's Day, and the low prize money. In 1970, George Mack calls National Tennis League, which employed Ron Labor, Ken Rosewall, Andres Gimeno, Pancho Gonzalez, Roy Emerson, and Fred Stahl, prevented its players from entering the tournament because the guarantees were insufficient. The tournament was
was won by Arthur Ashe. In 1983, Yvonne Lendl, John McEnroe and Mads Wielander entered the tournament. Wielander won the singles title and both his Davis Cups English rubbers in the Swedish loss to Australia at Cookham shortly after. Following the 1983 Australian Open, the International Tennis Federation prompted the Lawn Tennis Association of Australia to change the site of the tournament, because the Kuang Stadium was then inappropriate to serve such a big event. In 1988 the tournament was first held at Flinders Park, later renamed Melbourne Park. The change of the venue also led to a change of the court surface from grass to a hard court surface known as Rebound Days. In 1988 the tournament was first held at Flinders Park, later renamed Melbourne Park. The change of the venue also led to a change of the court surface from grass to a hard court surface known as Rebound Days. Mats Wielander was the only player to win the tournament on both grass and hard courts. In 2008, after being used for 20 years, the Rebound Ace was replaced by a cushioned, medium-paced, acrylic surface known as Plexicushion Prestige. Roger Federer and Serena Williams are the only players to win the Australian Open on both Rebound Ace and Plexicushion Prestige. The main benefits of the new surface are better consistency and less retention of heat because of a thinner top layer. This change was accompanied by changes in the surfaces of all lead-up tournaments to the Australian Open. The change was controversial because of the new surface's similarity to Deco Turf, the surface used by the US Open. Before the Melbourne Park Stadium era, tournament dates fluctuated as well, in particular in the early years because of the climate of each site for exceptional events. For example, the 1919 tournament was held in January 1920, the 1920 tournament was played in March, and the 1923 tournament in Brisbane took place in August when the weather was not too hot and wet. After a first 1977 tournament was held in December 1976, January 1977, the organizers chose to move the next tournament forward a few days, then a second 1977 tournament was played, ended on December 31st, but this failed to attract the best players. From 1982 to 1985, the tournament was played in mid-December. Then it was decided to move the next tournament to mid-January, January 1987, which meant there was no tournament in 1986. Since 1987, the Australian Open date has not changed. However, some top players, including Roger Federer and Rafael Nadal, have said that the tournament is held too soon after the Christmas and New Year holidays, thus preventing players from reaching their best form, and expressed a desire to shift it to February. Such a change, however, would move the tournament outside the summer school holiday period, potentially impacting attendance figures. Another change of venue was proposed in 2008, with New South Wales authorities making clear their desire to bid for hosting rights to the tournament once Melbourne's contract expires in 2016. In response, Wayne Kaler Thompson, the head of the Victorian Events Industry Council, was adamant that Melbourne should retain the event. In a scathing attack of the New South Wales authorities, he said, it is disappointing that NSW cannot be original and seek their own events instead of trying to cannibalize other Australian cities. Since the proposal was made, a major redevelopment of Melbourne Park has been announced, which is expected to run into the hundreds of millions of dollars. Melbourne Park will include upgraded and increased seating in major venues, a roof over Margaret Court Arena, improved player facilities, a new headquarters for Tennis Australia and a partly covered town square area featuring large televisions showing current tennis play. A year later, these plans were largely approved, with former Premier of Victoria John Brumby confirming the state government's willingness to commit $8.363 million to complete the renovations, a move which guaranteed there will be no change of venue until at least beyond 2036. Five facts you may not know about the Australian Open The best tennis players across the globe gather at Melbourne Park in the second week of January every year for the Australian Open. The 2019 Australian Open will start from January 14th and will end on January 27th and one will see Nick Kyrgios, Maria Sharapova, Serena Williams, Roger Federer, Rafael Nadal, and many other tennis stars compete against each other. Any type of tennis tournament be it Wimbledon or French Open comes with a lot of interesting facts and other limitless information. Watching the tennis game and keeping in mind those facts goes along well and it rather makes it far more interesting once you start spectaculating and calculating the results and records respectively. The 
the Australian Open is indeed the first Grand Slam of the year which is received with a lot of pomp and gaiety by the tennis aficionado so make sure that you book your tickets on time at Queen of Tickets. The tennis tournament gives a great head start to the year with many unending tournaments to follow for the rest of the year. If you are a crazy fan of tennis and you are unaware of the facts surrounding Australian Open, then you are doing a great deal of injustice to yourself. But not anymore because here in this article you will come across 5 interesting facts about the Australian Open that you are unaware of. Read 5 facts and other information regarding this Grand Slam to make yourself enlightened. 1. History of Australian Open This mega tennis event dates back, way back to the late 20th century and was first introduced in 1905. Australian Open did not have its original name until 1969 and was formerly known as Australian Championship. Earlier the game was played across several cities in Australia but from 1987 onwards it was played in Melbourne. The Australian Open is indeed one such mega tennis event that has been played in different countries with 1906 and 1912 turn. The Australian Open is indeed one such mega tennis event that has been played in different countries with 1906 and 1912 tournaments were played in New Zealand. The first match was played at Warehouseman's Cricket Ground. Due to its distant geographical location, Australian Open did not have foreign players until the year 1946 when several US players came to Australia by plane. Some of the recognized players who became popular from this event include Rod Laver, Margaret Smith, and Roy Emerson. 2. Change from grass court to hard court When the Australian Open commenced in the year 1905, the game was played on a grass ground. The trend continued and was invoked till 1987. From 1988 onwards, the tournament made its first change by introducing hard courts instead of grass ones. Mads Wielander holds the record of being the only player who has won the championship title on both grass court as well as on hard court. At the present time, this mega tennis event is being played in two main courts namely He Sense Arena and Rod Laver Arena. Timing and venue The dates of this mega grand slam saw some fluctuations with the dates in its early years. In the year 1919, the tournament took place in the month of January. However, in 1920 the game was organized in the middle of March. The tournament was conducted in August in 1923 and until 1977 there was no fixed timing for the game as it was scheduled across different months of the given year. But from 1977 onwards, the tennis game has been held in the middle of January every year. It is interesting to note that in 1977, two Australian Open events took place, one in January while the other one was in December of the same year. In the year 1986 due to some reasons Australian Open was not played. As of now, the game has been played in five major cities of Australia and two cities in New Zealand since its inception in 1905. Most of the games have been organized in Melbourne but some tournaments were played in other cities like Hastings and Christchurch in New Zealand and Perth, Brisbane, Adelaide, and Sydney. It was in the year 1972 that the governing tennis body of Australia decided to give it a permanent venue to this Grand Slam and from then the tournament has been permanently shifted to the Melbourne Park as the most preferred destination. For Australian Open winners since its inception in the year 1905, the Australian Open has come a long way and it is regarded as a global forum for the display of skills and talent in tennis. This grand event has been held in Melbourne for the past three decades and has provided us with an ample number of winning legends one could have asked for. Some of the important men legends include Kenneth Robert Rosewall, Roy Stanley Emerson, Mads Wielander, Rod Laver, Andre Agassi, Raphael Nadar, and Roger Federer. The important women legends include Margaret Smith, Nancy Wynne Bolton, Steffi Graf, Evan Gulagan, Phil McCoy, and Martina Hingis. 5. Playing conditions The Australian Open which is held in January every year is actually the summer season in Australia. The daytime temperature can rise up to 45 degrees Celsius which is well above 100 degrees in Fahrenheit. The 2007 tournament is regarded as the hottest playing season which recorded unbelievable high temperature. Many players have to be put on some intravenous trips in order to cope up with the hot weather conditions in Melbourne. At the present time, this Grand Slam makes use of EHP for extreme heat policy under which umpires can suspend.
Every year. 